his HMD, he sees a missile launch warning. A MiG-35 has fired on him. The Lightning pilot first uses AESA radar to jam the missile. Previous generations of fighters needed completely separate jamming equipment. But AESA higher processing power allows it to track multiple targets and jam others all at the same time. The F-35's next move is to orient the top side of his aircraft to the missile. This part of the plane is still stealthy. The missile loses lock. Now he switches his display to night vision. Another task made very simple by the F-35's pilot-friendly interface. On the F-35, it's an 8 by 20 inch piece of glass. There are no switches in the cockpit. It's finger on the glass, touch screen, uh, very interactive in terms of being able to bring up a display, iconify display, make it big, make it small, depending on what the typical mission is. But simultaneously, a SAM launch warning is projected onto the Lightning Pilot's HMD. Again, he jams the missile and maneuvers against it. HMD allows him to track the missile on its intercept course. But then another warning breaks the pilot's concentration. A nearby MiG has managed to launch a heat-seeking Archer 11 missile. The Lightning turns into the missile and deploys flares. But the Archer is equipped with an onboard computer that can distinguish infrared countermeasures from an aircraft engine. The F-35 is trapped, with a SAM in front and an Archer behind. To survive, he'll need the F-35's extreme maneuverability aided by its advanced fly-by-wire system. Fly-by-wire was something that was introduced on fourth-generation aircraft. The F-16 was the pioneer of that technology. It was fly-by-wire from the pilot's stick to the computer, and then it went through a conventional hydraulic system out to the flight control surfaces. But the F-35 goes one step further. The computer takes pilot inputs, then relays them to still more processors that control the flight surfaces individually. So it's very, very maneuverable, and it has to be but very, very benign in, in situations like landing on a carrier or landing in a stovall kind of configuration. As the SAM closes in, he rolls, punching chaff and flares. The Archer missile hesitates for a moment, then detonates, blasting shrapnel directly into the SAM's path. The lightning streaks north, now safe within the SAM free corridor, he and his fellow pilots blasted away earlier in the night. He's informed that the rest of the MiG 35s have all been shot down, and the B 2s have successfully reached the target. The mission is accomplished, but the pilot's brief experience in an unstealthy F 35 is a stark reminder of just how vital the technology is.